Okay, today we are going to talk a little bit about abrasives. We have three of the main, most common used abrasives right here in front of us. Um, it's hard to see, but this is garnet. We have glass bead and we have aluminum oxide. Just starting from the end, we'll talk a little bit about what they're used for real quick and how long they last. Garnet is a very aggressive abrasive. Most of you know garnet is used at high pressure, 50 to 90,000 PSI, in a water jet machine, cutting stainless steel, steel, ink and nails, anything you could dream of, you could cut on a water jet using garnet. So garnet is very aggressive. It's not as hard as aluminum oxide that we have here, but it's very sharp, has a very sharp angular edge. That's what makes it so aggressive. So when it's actually flowing across the surface of the part in the water, it's edging, it's cutting, and it's ripping off coatings. That's what we use it for. That's really the, the, the best use for garnet, is to prep for coatings, rip off existing coatings. In the middle here we have glass bead. Most commonly used abrasive in the vapor honing process. Glass beads are smooth, they're spherical. They give us a nice polished finish, an OEM finish. It's good for light deburring, light finishing on CNC parts, great for restoration market. It is not good for prepping for paint because you're actually rolling that bead across the surface. You're creating no surface roughness. You're smoothing the surface. So adhesion is not good with glass bead. But again, a polished effect is the best with glass bead. And that's why we use this abrasive. It's a medium to fine mixture. 99% of the time, this is what we recommend. Then we have here on the end, aluminum oxide. Aluminum oxide is really good. At least this medium mesh is really good for light deburring work, and prepping for a lot of your specialty coatings. Your Cerakotes from the gun industry, it's really good for that, depending on the grit size that you use, which should be 120 grit if you're prepping for Cerakote. But this 220 aluminum oxide is a, just a great cutting action to prep for a lot of your coatings, your paints, not so much powder coat, but a lot of your wet paints, really good for that. It's also good for mixing with glass bead to give you a little bit better cutting action. If your glass beads are a little bit slower and you want a little bit faster clean, you can mix a little bit of aluminum oxide in with the glass bead. And we have ratios for that when you buy the equipment and we can tell you how to mix these two. So garnet's gonna last you approximately a month. That's kind of an average lifespan for all three abrasives. Um, I know it does come down to, you know, what kind of substrate you're blasting and you know, how many hours you're putting on that machine every week. Obviously, if you're running this machine for 40 to 80 hours a week, then you're not gonna go a month on some of these abrasives. Again, a really aggressive with garnet, aggressive cleaning cutting action, a polishing action with the glass bead, and then a cutting action, but not as aggressive, but a cutting action with the aluminum oxide. Uh, again, you can mix abrasives in the wet blast process. You can use other abrasives, which we can talk about in person uh, we can discuss over the phone or by email. However, these are the most common that we use and that's why we're recommending those. You're gonna notice these little pails here. These are 25 pound buckets. This is the perfect size, the perfect amount that you need to put into your machine to, to initially charge it. And that's important because you have to have a specified abrasive to water ratio. If you don't have that certain percentage, which there's a magic number that we give you and we tell you, if you don't have that percentage, this machine's not gonna work. It's not gonna work anywhere near like it should. And that's the biggest secret sauce that you have within this equipment. We have a specified amount. You rip the top off the pail, you dump it in, you're good to go. You can check the levels, but again, this is it. This is what's gonna put you where you need to be. Um, yes, the, the poundage does go up depending on the model, but anywhere from the Weekend Warrior 800P series, Ergo 750, those machines all use 25 pounds. If you go to the 1000, it uses 30 pounds. The 4000, 3500, they use 35 to 40 pounds of abrasive. But again, you have measured volumes here to go off of. Good thing about this abrasive is we know where it came from. We know the manufacturer. We know the size. Those are all important details within the process. You have to make sure that you have the correct sizing and the correct abrasive type. And you can't always find that from somebody who doesn't know what you're doing with the abrasive. They're gonna sell you what they have or what they think you need, but we know what you need. So the best way to do that is to go to our website and you can buy it there. You can go and hover over the buy wet blasting equipment tab. 
you're going to see a wet blasting abrasive section. You can click on that and you can purchase the abrasive through us or you can call us and email us. It's the best way to get hold of it. If you have any more questions, shoot us an email, give us a call.